Shalom friends, it's Rabbi Jenny Solomon here at Beth Meyer Synagogue, and I'm here with a Mincha moment. This week we're reading from Parashat Re'eh, from the book of Dvarim of Deuteronomy. One of the things that our rabbis teach us is that um, each week as we move closer and closer to Elul, the month of introspection, which precedes Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, our Torah portions contain within them, of course, not only all the wisdom that they normally embody, but also hints as we begin the process of thinking about our own teshuva work, our own soul growth, our own work towards return and repair, uh, becoming our best selves and, and coming home to who we truly are. And this week, the Torah portion opens with the line, Re'e, look, see, that I have set before you, God says, bracha viklala, blessing and curse. Um, it's a reminder that in every moment of every day, we have all of these little choice points. In Musar, we call these choice points bichira. A bichira is a choice point. Do I wanna do this or do that? And of course, Jewish teaching reminds us that we have these two drives, all of us, and neither are bad. We have this Yetzer Hatov, which is sort of leading us towards goodness, and we have Yetzer Hara, uh, which could be literally translated as the evil inclination, but, but in many ways it's not evil. After all, this is also the drive that um, has the seeds of, of ambition the seeds of um, competition, the seeds of creation, uh, all of that is sort of encompassed within Yetzer Hara, so it's not all bad. One of the things that the Vilna Gaon, a great Lithuanian rabbi from the 18th century taught on this subject of this good inclination and this Whatever this Yetzer Hara is, is of course uh, much more complex than an evil inclination, which are in conversation with one another every time we meet a Bichira, a choice point. The Vilna Gaon suggested that the Yetzer Hara, this, this evil inclination or this inclination that potentially wants to steer us in the wrong direction, is not necessarily looking for us to make a grand mistake. That's, that's actually not how most mistakes are made. But in fact, is looking for a little opportunity for us to make a small step down the less adaptive, the less skillful, the less holy, the less um, evolved path. And from that step, of course, it becomes easier to take the next step um, in a less than opportune direction. And I would humbly offer that I that the opposite is true as well, that when the Yetzer Hatov, this inclination that we all have for goodness, for righteousness, for justice, for holiness, when we take just one small step in that direction, so too, we are pulled um, along a different path and that next step is easier and the next step after that. One of the things that I'm so grateful for in my meditation practice and my prayer practice, my yoga practice, all these practices, all these contemplative practices, is that as I slow down the motion and sort of take on the role of observer, of being in my experience, but also observing my experience. I have a little bit of a better chance of what I call catching the edge. So if I notice myself at a choice point and I'm feeling lured to take the less lesser of the two choices um, in terms of their essential goodness, there's a better chance that I will catch the edge of that if I've had a chance to slow down and pause and reflect, be a little bit more responsive rather than reactive. So again, I make, I take a step in the wrong direction many, many times a day. We all do. Um, 
but part of the work I think of spirituality um, is to be able to look with clear eyes, with more compassionate, loving eyes, to do that work of re'e, to see the bracha and to move towards bracha. And if we can, to step away from klala, to step away from the curses and taking moments to pause and be with my experience and notice and observe really helped me, especially taking that small step in the right direction rather than the wrong one. All right, friends, I hope this is helpful and supportive and a good reminder. It is, it is for me. And so I'm happy to share it with you. Peace. Shalom.